application the the program is like that the jharkhand government two room coordinator will announce certain names and will ask your feedbacks in the webinar only so normally the feedback contains we expect your frank opinion about content presentation clarification given and the your take away is in this 6 days online mdp program so to start with today's session i invite all of you to come in the criteria that is infrastructure and learning resource since when the higher education institution is going for cycle 1 2 3 4 or whatever it is it is known that institution is in operation for more than 5 6 years that means the initial problem of infrastructure and other resources has been resolved so this criteria look into availability of infrastructure with you and their optimize optimum utility for the benefit of various operational as well as students development so these are the four key indicators one is physical facility another is a library another is it infrastructure and fourth is maintenance of campus infrastructure when i am talking about physical structure physical facilities adequate infrastructure facilities are key for effective and efficient conduct of educational program for example in your laboratory if 50 student batch is there using that laboratory is there 50 chairs available how many equipments are there and how student will get opportunity to utilize equipments in the library in the laboratory is there infrastructure available in your institution is adequately used or is there wastage of infrastructure in your institution for example four rooms are locked not used and other departments are lacking space so it says that institution is not utilizing infrastructure facilities available with them with proper maximum utility प्रोसेस सिखा तिवारी प्रोसेस सिखा तिवारी यस सर मैम इन योर इंस्टीट्यूशन यस सर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर्स आर देयर एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट्स नीड एडिशनल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर यस सर सो यू नीड टू हैव अ प्रोविजन to add on infrastructure in coming years of course sir and the available infrastructure with you needs maintenance yes sir that means there must be an annual plan about infrastructure maintenance as well as add on infrastructure yes sir of course so so there is a criteria in charge who takes care about these things he can ensure and he has to ensure that if institution has collected 100 rupees as a revenue how much money 
it has been they are ready to spend or allocated for maintenance as well as for the add on facilities of infrastructure we had decided 5% money will be there or 6% is there or 15% is there whatever you yes. had decided yes sir whether it is being the plan is implemented properly so uh, when no, no, i am just i am just giving you an yes. idea that yes. this criteria ask you to fix a policy number 1 yes. number 2 to take care of infrastructure development and maintenance infrastructure should may not be only for the classrooms or the laboratory or laboratories but it has to be for extra curricular activities administrative activities and other campus related activities for example sports for example nss for example facility for uh, sick room for example facility for other uh, the the co common places like the cafeteria like the canteen like uh, a conference hall so they like a waiting place so institution needs a number of infrastructure not only related with the student but also related with the administrator staff yes you got my point yes sir so sir, i want i want to share one thing with you please uh, uh, uh it's about 6 uh, years or 7 years back when i was working with mit university in noida uh that time uh, i have seen I, and at that very good good i'm just i'm just adding you i also got an opportunity to work with them oh okay sir okay sir so i have seen in noida that there is a crutch or a playing area for the kids when the when any lecturer or professor lady professor or lady staff is coming with their kids to take care of uh, till 2 years of age because they can't send them to the, any school so the crutch and the playing area is for the kids they can they they the kids can be taken care of so that is the, uh, that what i liked a lot about that uh, good initiative yeah. of the administration absolutely correct there are various things can be done with less expenditures yes sir it need not to spend a lot yes if sir. if i am reaching in your institution and i am not known to anyone yes sir in the waiting area if i was offered a cup of tea with two britannia biscuit the institute cost is around 5 rupees yes sir but the impact is immense yes sir of course very true even in the it infrastructure now it is very important area in this criteria the infrastructure it infrastructure availability and the maximum utilization of it infrastructure is needed for example the library must have it enabled library in the mouse click of the mouse the librarian can assess where is the book and with whom it was issued and how many books of this topic is still in the library and where it is kept and everything has to be in the click of your mouse so it availability of it infrastructure is very important but similarly utilization of these it enabled technologies is is again very important now the posting notices on the notice board is an is an activity to be done in 2017 16 15 now you need to send these notices published in your website or to be sent to the students in their respective group with the help of infra technology so it is not only the classroom it is not only the laboratory it, it, it is not only the library but everything has to be it enabled for example sikha ma'am 
I visited your cafeteria. Yes, sir. How do you know that burgers are available or not? There should be a menu display there so that. No, uh, who is going to see this menu, ma'am? I am sitting in my my hostel. I wanted to know whether burgers are available or not. If it is not available, I will not come down from my room. There should be some uh, app or website where you can. The, the IT inability has to be there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And in only in that way, the control of of that canteen. will have the understanding what to do with the burgers yes sir is it burgers are available not been sold yes. spoiling in the in the in the counters or it is selling like an hot cake yes sir and where is the money so all canteen control can be with the it infrastructure like any shop yes sir. i'm just giving you an idea yes. that all the activity examination the nss activities sports activity everything has to be on the web yes so you need to understand all those things so that means a data management should be there a data security has to be there data storage has to be there the availability of app has to be there now it is an old days fundamental that you take attendance in the class now the class has to be it enabled attendance system you are getting my point ma'am yes sir now the maintenance of campus infrastructure so the sufficient resource has to be there sufficient allotment has to be there to take care of entire campus infrastructure ma'am i i i just entered in your campus with my vehicle right yes sir yes sir and i am perturbed where to park my vehicle if directions are properly given yes sir prominently visible to me i will park my vehicle at the correct place where you wanted my vehicle to be parked yes sir right ma'am yes sir if i wanted to see the principal i must know and it is visible to me where in which building i should go and with whom i should meet yes sir certainly i should not inquire in the campus that where is the principal's office yes sir so everything has to be there properly maintained and self explanatory am i am i clear with you yes sir the the very negative aspect on this infrastructure is if there is an infrastructure which is not been utilized properly so the building is there but utility of building is not optimized in one of the classroom you are having a sitting capacity of 200 student in another classroom we are having sitting capacity of 40 student and in the 40 student capacity room 50 students are in the class and in 200 capacity room 30 students are in the class so this mismanagement are always there the maintenance of the seating arrangements and all those things so the last year whatever the arrangements are there this year i must add on something new into it because funds are there for add on activity and funds are there for maintenance you are getting my point ma'am yes sir and for example being a faculty whether institute has given you a, a desktop or laptop 
Yes, sir. And who is taking about all maintenance and everything? Administrative manager or the coordinator for the welfare or for the uh, infrastructure. The the system with you, whether you are utilizing your laptop or desktop given by the institution, with an all the aspects of your activity. Yes, sir. Everything is computerized, or you are still getting. notices and and the registers and everything is there no 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 sir everything is computerized now so it has to be yeah because from last two years it it has to be yes, so is there a, any question from anyone any question from anyone or i should move in the next criteria yes sir you can So the next criteria is on the student support on progression. So now, since the higher education institution is open to for the students, it, the every activity has to be for the students only. So. the necessary assistant to the student you need to offer so a student when enters in the institution they must have a meaningful experience of learning and the facilities available in the institution is towards holistic development of the student not only on the academics so the entire student performance and alumni profile and all the support mechanism available for the student has to be prominently available in front of the student sikha ma'am yes sir i entered in your institution Yes, as an outsider yes sir and wanted to understand the admission process yes sir right yes sir so there is an admission office yes sir i visit over there and understand things from them or through the websites yes sir there I had a question in my mind. What is the placement scenario in Department of History? Yes. Right. Yes, sir. The placement in charge is on faculty. May or may not be available in placement cell. Yes, sir. What What should I do? You should ask about any website link or. Uh... any <clears throat> digital material they have for there are two options one is digital material and another is a hoodings or a write up somewhere yes there should be a screen showing all these uh, something things. something something should be yes my how big your campus is how big your campus is so it's it's a big one amity lucknow is a big one so the inside boundary wall of your institution yes sir what you normally used to write on those boundary walls nothing nothing not on boundary wall it is it is plain white washed yes sir we can write n number things over there I'm giving you one example. Okay. Amity Lucknow. Yes. The the alumni's of last year in department of marketing management. Yes, sir. Fifty students are there. Yes, sir. So I can post name and photographs of all those fifty students 
in a wall on the campus wall in the inside campus wall i can paint it yes sir or i can put an hooding or the flares or whatever i want to mentioning the name photographs and where they had posted and their email id mm -hmm. so when i entered in your campus i have n number of things to read on yes sir inside campus wall i can move here from one place to another while reading i will get n number of informations yes sir so you can display your informations here and there yes sir for example how the processes are there fine it is in the website it is in the app entire admission team is there to helping student but all the students need is a support yes sir so when a student is inside campus they are not interested in when they are interested in physical activity <clears throat> yes sir If when they are in the home fine if they are going with the web but yes. when they entered in your campus they wanted to see a number of things yes sir for example the activity of nss and how to join an nss what is the benefit of joining nss how the nss is going to help me in my career during placement i'm just giving you an idea right yes sir so these are the four four key elements student support student progression the student participation and activity and alumni engagement ma'am your campus is having trees must be a green campus yes sir so how many trees were there 100 less than 100 more than 100 some were around 100 <laughs> and there must be some flower pots yes sir more than 500 mm -hmm. more than 100 yes sir small gamlas and all those right yes sir we can use these trees or the gamlas dedicated in the name of alumnis or in the name of employers or in the name of toppers yes sir very good idea sir yes sir ma'am recently somebody was interacting with me yes sir and the person has told me sir i had seen your photograph in this institution mm -hmm. i was in that institution 32 years back okay and even after 32 years my photographs names and updated email is written there yes sir and see the benefit i am getting and the student of that institution is getting in the interview room i was taking interview in the interview room he said that he got an opportunity to connect with me that he is also from the institution and he is known to me yes sir being an alumni i know that he is also from the institution but i was not so associated or inclined but as soon as he says that i am i had seen your photograph in the department i got impressed Yes. Sir. Everybody like these things. Of course, sir. Human connections. Yes, sir. So when when an employer is continuously coming down to you, he needs some sort of recognition. Not only the recognition, but it is it is going to give you branding also. So when I am yes. talking about student support, <clears throat> yes, I am just putting it the names. and i expect everybody to see to it whether these things are available in institution or not guidance cell placement cell krivan residential cell 
welfare measures activity so scholarship cell so for example the the anti ragging cell or uh anti sexual harassment cell or the uh, counseling cell where students are getting counseled about the academics or the personal activities and and problems the the free sip cells so there are various student support activity there whether these things are available to student prominently ma'am sikha ma'am yes he sir. may or may not have infrastructure or room dedicated for these activities the separate room for these activity but we can always do to have a separate table and chair for every activity in 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 somewhere yes sir or we in, in even in one chair one table we can have three four activity in different time span yes sir of course we can and the informations like free sip like scholarship right yes, the sir. free sip is given by your institution but the scholarship is not only given by your institution there are in number of other institutions offering scholarship to your students right yes sir say for example sbi is giving scholarship to the student of management or sdfc is giving or bajaj finance is giving or tata is giving in number of organizations are giving yes sir so whether these informations are known to my students remember knowing is not going to give you marks availing is going to give you marks yes sir i will ask you how many students has availed this scholarship activities so you need to motivate your students to apply for this scholarship in proper format so that they can avail it up Yes, sir. For example, grievance redressal. You say that you are having a grievance redressal cell, but there is no grievance. I will ask you in the month of January how many grievances you received? None. December none. November one. What was that? I lost my pencil. Whether. with an student strength of 5000 no grievance is there guidance cell i will ask the guidance cell in charge how much footfall is there how many students come down to you and what type of guidance they need from you and how you are able to help them out the data and all those things you are getting my point ma'am sir so every institution these facilities are there and faculties are given additional charge of these activities so the criteria in charge need to verify that all these teacher who got an responsibility to sit in the guidance cell are doing some work sitting there every day Asraf Karim, Asraf Karim ji, Arun Ramanuj, Professor Arun Ramanuj, Dr. Mitali, please unmute and talk to me. yes yes sir i am here sir ashraf karim sir my my question is what i wanted to understand from you that these facilities are available right 
yes sir and you are, you had also been associated in one of the facilities okay yes yes sir for example you are sitting in placement cell right the timing of placement cell is fixed or it is not fixed yes sir do you have any responsibility in these areas any responsibility so actually there is no any provision of placement sir in or campus in this these things are not available this has to be available what i i wanted to uh, say to you that yes. since you are a teacher in a department and you had a routine to follow right yes, sir. Yes, in sir. that routine it has to be one need to enter it and see to it that if you had been given a charge of for example scholarship cell so the scholarship cell opens every day between 3 to 4 or 10 to 11 or 1 to 2 whatever time is there at a fixed time scholarship cell is opening and you are available at that time so let's for example yes. 10 to 11 that means yes. between 10 to 11 you are not having any academic responsibility other than this one yes sir so every day for one hour you are working in scholarship cell obviously if i visit in the scholarship cell the pun says me mere sir ka to class hai this is not fair yes sir so your routine need to incorporate it as an academic activity you are getting my point there are many loop holes sir which which must be addressed sir like... that's why that's why you are in the web near that's why you are trying to understand all those things so that it, these loop holes can be taken care of yes sir so now another area is student progression the institute concern for the student progression to higher studies or to employment opportunities there are only two alternative one either your students got a blag or got admission for the higher education right sir right sir yes sir yes sir obviously so if 40% student become employed right yes sir so 60% has not got employment where they are they may be in the higher education or they may be interested to get a job but they did not get a job yes sir right so let's like 20% was in not interested in employment gone for higher study so 60% is taken care 40% employed 20% for the higher education so what about the rest 40% who did not get an opportunity neither in the employment nor in the higher education what support institute has given to them again in the last year the average placement was for example 2.5 lakhs so this year you wanted to have an average placement of 3 lakhs so what were the plan made by you so that in this year the placement average should go the best placement in the institute was last year 6 lakhs so this year we had a plan that it should go up to 7.5 so merely planning that the best student will get 7.5 lakhs package is not going to help you need to support the student so that they can get 7.5 lakhs package so what you are doing on that you are getting my point sir yes sir yes sir so the vertical movement of a student has to there the horizontal movement should be there and the various competition in in other areas for example national olympiad is there for example mathematics olympiad is there sports activity is there quiz competition is there n number of activities are there in and around in your 
in your group of institution in this district in the state in the national level in the international level n number of activities are there whether your student are able to participate how many students has participated and what are their achievements so we need to increase it all with a proper planning and support mechanism you are getting my point sir yes sir obviously sir. so sustainable growth has to be there and various facility has to offer to the student to achieve higher qualification as well as higher achievement in various competitions again the student participation and activity the institute promote inclusive practices for social justice and better stockholder relationship it has to promote value based education for various social responsibility citizen activities to enhance to make a good society you are getting my point yes, palvi ma'am punita ji mera samir f sonali kulkarni ma'am yes sir yes sir getting your point sir am, am i clear to you yes sir sir but these things can only be done when a senior person as an criteria in charge is sitting with an her department and asking these are the areas we need your faculty to participate in these activity please spare your faculties one hour in a week five hours in a week whatever you want it whatever is required so that everyone in the institute as per their capability as per their ability can contribute in the development of institute Professor Lakshmi, you wanted to add something. You are trying to speak. Professor Lakshmi, you wanted to speak something. now this is very important area alumni engagement sonali ma'am sonali ma'am yes sir you are from which institute sir i am from uh, srishti college uh, srishti college commerce and management uh, bangalore ma'am this srishti college of commerce and management bangalore hmm. is an old college right yes sir yes sir you are having 20 plus batches already passed out uh right ma'am yeah uh, sir th that is a different branch sir uh, th this is only for commerce and management so how many batches has passed out from institution three three batches sir three batches yes. so in every batch total student strength was for example 100 200 300 mm. what, what was the number yeah uh, it was 100 plus 100 plus so 300 students has already passed out right yes yes approximately and they are they are implied here and there mm. okay mm. so for example out of the, these 300 students five are in chennai okay mm. maybe yeah two in delhi maybe mm. one in mumbai something like that yes so the alumni engagement you need to plan very intelligently okay engagement means the mm. alumni should get benefit from you one and mm. you should also get benefit from the alumni correct sir 
so if you are always thinking that alimony should support you mm. it is not going to help correct so it so, is like both ways both way so mm. you you need to help alimony is then alimony will help you up right right so correct. what help our alimony expect from you he has passed out 3 years back working mm. somewhere what type mm. of help they need from you two mm. one an academic support mm. second a support in new job for the new job mm. a teacher like sonali ma'am mm. may not have the ability to give me a new job mm. but you have all the abilities to mm. refresh my knowledge mm. so if there is a refresher program mm. what subject you teach ma'am uh, sir accounts management subjects theory uh, let, let, let's let's speak accounts right mm. Mm. i did my finance management in your institute and working mm. for last 3 years in mumbai mm. okay okay i'm working in an bank mm. right okay you know what are the internal audits in the bank you know that mm. so you arrange a two days program on mm. internal audit practices and various understanding various points and okay. invite me to join mm. that two free of cost mm. out of 300 your past out student 20 mm. has joined mm. and these 20 got an understanding of banking internal audit by you correct and a certificate a two days workshop certificate is there mm. and for that particular man who is working in a bank mm. it will add on in his resume That's that it. is also no the internal audit yes you are getting my point yes yes sir yes sir so a faculty need to update mm. all your alumni is mm. time and again exactly so that they become an industry ready right sir if it is not possible that faculty can do it you can mm. invite an outside people to do mm. so yes most of the outside people are not charging anything mm. you are giving a bouquet and mm. things is over yes even i was called last month i was called by three of institution mm. I spent the whole day. Hmm. They had given me three, four cup of tea and coffee, <laughs> a lunch, hmm. and a flower pot. Yeah, that's nice. And I, I happily like, and I yes, happily sir. involved myself. Not only hmm. myself, in number hmm. of other people are also there hmm. for a beautiful coach. That's nice, sir. So it is. It is not. all the time mm. you need to spend and that too with a government university mm. and that too they do not have fund to invest right sir the flower pot was costing them max to max 200 rupees 200 rupees yes max to max mm-hmm. and the entire expenditure was somewhere around 5 6 700 rupees not more than that yes sir Sir, and there that are too, very, very the few certificate was not like... printed. It is an hmm. e-certificate, so we are not going to spend anything on that. Anything on that, right? So one cannot say, hmm. take a plea that we do not have funds, so we cannot do. No, Correct. no one is asking funds from you. Only your sincerity and real, dedicated, academic, pure activity has to be there. Activity has to be there, right, sir? So come down the. alumni engagement the alumni engagement has to be a meaningful engagement from both away and it has to be not only on the basis of academics but also from the student support so you can ask alumni to mentor five students of the institution
you are getting my point ma'am yes sir your alumni become a mentor of five students so these mm. five students are in continuous contact with that alumni with that alumni and the alumni yes. will guide them happily mm. Mm. how to move how to make prepare themselves and how mm. to make them industry fit correct sir and sometime it can be financial also yes uh, i am giving you an example the one of the state government in india has come with the the, the scheme of mentoring school students mm -hmm. the last statistics was 80 plus thousand students got mentors and the mentors were professional mm -hmm. passed out from any institute of repute from in india so 80000 students got their mentor if if you are mentoring five students every people every one normally gives best to their students so these things are needed an institute need to do all those things and it has to be incorporated in the nac forms and various areas so the getting points in these areas are very easy ma'am one criteria was creating syllabus and doing pocos on those things right ma'am okay ma'am sonali ma'am sonali ma'am sir i am here i can yeah ma'am my, my my point is in the criteria one where you need to do academic syllabus academic curriculums and attainment of all those outcomes all those calculations mm -hmm. then you got few marks yes sir right yes sir and in this criteria see to it mm -hmm. do you require any really academically intelligent faculty mm -hmm. to get marks here no sir a more more of the like creativity and uh, it is activities yes yes it is activities yes right yes sir and you are also getting marks here yes constant follow up is required here only uh, more than the, the follow up only it can be done if the criteria has got a independent in charge mm -hmm. and the charge is active enough very true sir making an ecosystem in the college mm -hmm. about the sensitization of nac mm. any question from anyone or i should move ahead any question from anyone Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. I'm clear from my side, sir. Thank you so much. Sir, so I'm also clear, sir. So you can go ahead with the other point, sir. Thank you. You can go ahead, sir. Thank you. Now I'm coming to the another criteria. That is governance, leadership, and management. And as far I'm concerned, this is the most difficult criteria given by the NAC. It's the most difficult criteria. If you are lucky, you are having a very good team of governance, or you are very good leader, or very good management team with you. If you are not lucky, there are people, there are principals, vice chancellors, directors who have very little idea, non-supporting. non cooperating similarly in the private institutions the entire governing body or the promoters or the leaders they need to be a supportive they need to do their job then only you can do miracle in another criteria so it is it is really tough 
i request all those people those who are from the private institutions please persuade your management team in the nac activity ask them to join some of the mdps or go with the recording of the mdps or go with the literatures or you should educate them or create an activity a one day workshop sunali ma'am sunali ma'am yes sir how many teaching and non teaching employees are there in your institution total uh, yes uh, sir around uh, 14 to 15 faculties we have uh, 50 for... faculties or like with 20 non teachings huh right sir 15 sir 15 15 like let it be huh. 17 mm -hmm. okay these 70 people plus the management team mm. i am not talking about the vice chancellor i am talking about ever vice chancellor the people who are managing all those things mm -hmm. right there is your governing body mm. there is a syllabus committee where outsiders are also involved mm -hmm. right ma'am yes sir so let it be say 100 people are there just for an example mm -hmm. okay you had arranged a 3 hour one day workshop mm -hmm. yes sir and asked everybody to participate so only the people from your institution are present yes sir got my point mm -hmm. and 3 hour workshop let it you are speaking or i am mm. speaking or any any way you speaking mm. making everybody aware about the role and responsibility of everyone mm. it will make your life really easy in the, in the in the context of nat okay sir people will understand mm. people will understand their importance yes sir and the management will understand the importance of these things mm. and then when we will ask that we need x rupees for the this activity mm. you may get x or you may get x minus 1 but you will get something something right sir so if we are asking 100 rupees and we are getting 30 rupees okay fine mm. there will be less decoration there will be no snacks but the activity will be there activity will be there yes it may not be a fanfare but the activity will be there and the academic activity is important for the mm. data collection of nat mm. so the once the ball is rolling everybody understands that this is good and it is it is going to give dividend yes sir so it is the responsibility of iqs cell to mm -hmm. sensitize everybody including the leaders yes ma'am you will find in iqs cell chairmen are the vice chancellors or the director or the mm. or the head of the institution mm. and they are not coming in the meeting mm. you are organizing the meeting they will say okay i will come but they are not attending they are not participating mm. even they are not going with the minutes of the meeting they are not asking you what has happened and why why these things is there why this thing mm. is not done they are not interested at all because they are not they do not understand the importance of it right sir so the entire planning human resource planning recruitment training performance appraisal financial management everything mm. should be there for mm. example in this web near you had participated right yes sir when you are participating you need to take approval of every day two hour off from the academic activity one second mm. certain fees are there either you are paying or institution is paying right mm. Mm. with with all the approval of time and money mm. 
Nusrut knows that you are doing this. Yes. Right. Yes, sir. Whether Nusrut has asked you to give her report. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, it's like we are making notes also, and uh, no, so no, no. report presented to the management. Presented to the to the vice chancellor of your university hmm. that this was an program, this was an key pointers, this hmm. is I learned, and this are these things has to be done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. Sometimes it is very formal. Sometimes hmm. it is not so formal. Not formal. It need to be formal. It need to be documented. It need to be involved everybody. Hmm. So once the the leadership is involved, your management hmm. is involved, you will you can see the difference. Now these are the key indicators. First, institutional value and leadership. Ma'am, what is your motto line? University motto is there, or vision is there? What is the vision? Sonali, ma'am. Palvi, ma'am. Doctor Palvi. Dibani, ma'am. Doctor Dibani. Yes, sir. What is the motto or vision of your institute? Sir, I don't remember, sir. Sorry to say, sir. It, this is that's why I asked. The motto and vision is in the paper and pen only. Nobody remembers. Then nobody is doing activities to fulfill those mottos or to achieve those visions. You are getting my point. Yes, sir, I'm getting. Sir, I do remember my college uh, no, vision no, and motto. I'm like, not, I'm not, not the university, sir. Not the I'm university. Not, my, I'm not interested in that. I'm interested that the vision, motto, missions are there. Is only and is only on paper. Is only on paper. The NAC looks into this criteria that or whatever you are doing activity in whole of the year is. Only for the benefit of a student and to achieve your mission visa. Right, sir. So that is that is missing. Second, strategic development and deployment. The finance, the manpower, the infrastructure. It has been given to you from the management side that these three rooms are are in this department. Right, the department is having twenty chairs. Why twenty? Why not fifty? Why not fifteen? Why not five? There must be some reason. And the reason has to be rational reason. You are getting my point, ma'am. Am I clear to you? Yes, sir. Getting your point, sir. You will see that even in your college. Certain departments are having a big infrastructure. Certain departments are facing the problem of lack of infrastructure. Yes, sir. Precisely, sir. So the rational divisions are not there. For example, in a college, the college starts with X department. So department is having five rooms. And later on, a new department is incorporated. Add on. The department is having two rooms. In one department, there is zero student, but they are having two rooms. In another department, they are having five hundred students with two rooms. So the, no rationalism is there. The faculty empowerment strategies. How you are empowering the faculty? Sonali, ma'am. Yes, sir. 
Ma'am, you are teaching accounts, if I hmm. remember correct, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That means you are teaching accounts and various papers of the finance. Hmm. For give me a reply, a uh, uh, genuine reply, ma'am. Hmm. For last one year, hmm. the department or your university hmm. has given you any career path that you need to be trained in these these things. in hmm. this coming year a strategy uh, is formulated for your academic growth uh yes sir only not from uh, exactly university from, uh, from management side uh, we are getting uh, the uh, career development things but uh, from university side uh, not that much sir the 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 the, the knack is for the university not for the hmm. department Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes. Yes, sir. So the 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 NAC IQSE, as yes. per this criteria and charge, they need to formulate a faculty empowerment strategy. Hmm. Right. And this strategy need to have certain budget, certain plans, certain okay. policies. Hmm. And it has to be seen that this development has been done. Or these strategies are followed. Hmm. Let's come to point indicator number four, right? Yes, sir. The resource mobilization, ma'am. In your department, say for example, MBA finance is there, right? So, Ali, ma'am. Uh, sir, our institute only undergraduates. So, BBA finance is there. Okay. Mm -hmm. The BBA department of BBA is earning anything other than from a student? Uh, no. Is there any other resource other no. than from a student? No, sir. The if the just understand mm -hmm. if the expenditure of BBA department is hundred mm -hmm. rupees. Mm -hmm. the 50 rupees you need to generate from the industry okay and only 50 rupees from mm. the student okay and in the span of 15 10 to 15 years mm. university should not spend anything on the department of mba in terms mm. of salary and everything mm -hmm. you need to be self sufficient earning mm. from industry only okay so ali ma'am just think on the scenario that mm. university is not paying salary is spending anything on you mm. whatever the salaries are there mm. you are arranging from the department's activities mm. and the university is free from the BBA department over financial issues. How it will do? Just think, what will be the scenario? How the university mm -hmm. will look at BBA department? Ma'am, whatever you want, no. you will be given liberty to do because you are not asking money from the university. Yeah, no, you are sir. self reliance. yes and it is very much possible it is very mm. much possible being in a professional department mm. you can offer your services to the industry mm. with the help of your students you can take various assignments responsibilities research and everything from the industry and earn mm. various campaigns are there and since you are an university you had all the liberty to rearrange your syllabus mm -hmm. only thing is you need a leader who can do it right sir we need to start thinking in this line mm. the another key indicator in this criteria is internal quality assurance system 
Ma'am, in this entire criteria, the five pointers is mm. you are not asking even one rupee from the university. No money is spending by the university. Right, sir. It is all activity of the employees of the university. Mm -hmm. And you can earn 100 out of 100 marks in this criteria. Correct, sir. Sonali ma'am, just think, hmm. if I am the vice chancellor hmm. and I, I request you to participate in three FDPs in this year, hmm. right? And the fees will be given by the university hmm. and other support will be given to you, hmm. right? Yes, if sir. five faculties are in BBA department, hmm. I'm pretty sure, and you will be mm. with me, that mm. all these files are capable and will mm. be interested in participating these academic activities. Mm. No one will deny. Yes. But thing is, it has to come from the management side. Correct, sir. You are not voluntarily asking the management for the permission and fees for these mm. faculty development programs. Mm. So if the university is proactive, that means mm. the criteria in charge is proactive, mm. everything can be done. Can be done. For example, yes. internal quality assurance system, right? Mm. The mm. department of BBA, five permanent teachers are there and few mm. waiting teachers are there, mm. right? So how the quality is assured? You need to create a mechanism Correct, sir. to verify the mm. quality of education should be there. Right, sir. And it is not going to spend any even single single level, sir. Mm -hmm. Only thing is, you need to create a system, and most of the time, if a system is given to you as a faculty, you always follow the system. If you are talking with 100 faculties, 99.9 .9 faculty will follow the systems. Mm. Provided system is there, provided mm. system support is there, provided mm. infrastructure facilities are there, provided you accept the system. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. So it is very important that leadership has to be a very proactive. Mm -hmm. And to make a leadership proactive, IQAC cell has a criteria in charge. And I always suggest you to make a criteria in charge or checker of the criteria in charge from mm -hmm. the management team. Okay. When you will inform a management team people, mm -hmm. they can understand after involvement in these activity, okay, mm -hmm. these things have to be done. And for them, it is easy to convince other member of your management. Mm -hmm. Being a faculty, you may not have the permission or the guts to convince all your management people. Hmm. But a member from the management team, if you understand all those things, he is in the friendly terms. He will he will convince everybody. Right. Right, sir. So we had already covered this faculty empowerment. We had already covered. So in all the criteria, two, three things are there. Creation and policy. A short-term, long-term strategy has to be there. A budget allocation has to be there. For example, infrastructure maintenance. A budget allocation has to be there. And you, you, the budget, whatever budget you are having, you need to comply with the budget. So it, this, these things should be there. Any question from anyone? 
any question from anyone no sir no question sir uh, dr ajay sharma ji you have raised your hand sir uh, regarding uh, faculty empowerment strategy i have one uh, suggestion or questions yeah uh, please say that question is uh, uh, as a university uh, uh, shall we have staff union we are uh, we have president or secretary or vice president so collectively uh, collectively we can uh, raise or uh, put up our problem sir there are two things one yes you are demanding various things from your management yes. or you are you are been a part of the team mm -hmm. with the management mm -hmm. that can only become successful and giving you a big uh, marks on, on all these criteria only and only when your management is proactive and helping you out if okay. faculties are demanding that means there is no quality okay what is needed mm -hmm. is a proper meetings a proper team building with iqsc mm -hmm. and a follow up of the plan made in the iqsc mm -hmm. in the periodical meetings so if okay. everyone is involved here and there hmm. and for example i am the in charge of criteria number 2 criteria number 3 hmm. hmm. i need to meet with various head of department in their chamber hmm. and request them meet with them discuss with them over my criteria how this can be done more effectively yes yes every time when you are calling the head department in iqsc cell hmm they may be very senior people yes they yes. may not like mm hmm there may be a problem of attitude yes if i am giving you my example if you are calling me in your chamber for a meeting mm hmm i may or may not come i can deny yeah. Yes, yes, sure. But if you are coming to my chamber, hmm. I will always offer you a cup of coffee hmm. and give all my attention to you and all my help to you. So hmm. yes, so in the institution, the senior, the attitude, the different personality, everything is there. Yes, yes. Sir. So, so you need to create a mechanism. to satisfy everybody and take mm. help from everybody take suggestions from everybody whatever i'm talking with you most of the people are experienced you are having your own ideas on the topics on which i am chatting with you yes yes exactly sir. since you are not a speaker so you are not coming with your ideas mm -hmm. but it is not that you people are not doing it or not doing it mm. yes so should i move ahead yes sir yes sir please excuse me sir yes ma'am hello uh, yes, ma sir what type of audits are uh, expected by iqsc external audits and internal audits i i i, I did hear your voice properly uh, please what type, of, what, what type of audit should iqsc conduct audit ha internal audits and external audits are expected by iqsc so what type of audit should be conducted ma'am in all these seven criteria ha. in every criteria you are having key indicators right yes sir and every key indicator you need to follow certain steps yes when you are following those steps a data is created and then the data is collected stored and documented right ma'am okay sir yes sir so the internal audit is whether in this key indicator the mm -hmm. steps to be taken 
for the collection of this data is there or okay. the, the department, the faculty, the, the people responsible for this criteria for whom you had made a policy are mm -hmm. doing things accordingly. Okay, sir. The problem is you are asking data from the department at the end of semester. Yeah. And if you find that these things are not done in the department, for example, you got a data from the department at the end of semester that there was no seminar in this semester. They had not organized any seminar. So your data is zero. Yes. If it was monthly report, then after three months, you know that department has not organized any seminar, though two seminar was planned for this department. Now your criteria in charge understands that this department is not following it up and the department is having another three months with them to follow the policy. Yeah. Then you will you will ask the departmental head what suppose support he needs. So yes, everybody is supporting a department, and in the next coming three months, we will have two seminars. Or if this department is not able to conduct two seminars this year by all the means, that means another department has to do two seminar extra. You're getting my point. So these audits, periodical um, audits of every month is needed. That's why I, I told you there should be 14 meetings in IQSSL every month. Seven for seven criteria in the, in the, in the initial month and for the seven Another seven in the seven criteria, one in each with the reporting and next strategy formulation. Am I clear, okay. ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you are not doing audit, it is the only plan. No implementation will be there. So now in the seventh criteria, that is institutional value and best practice. Uh, I again come down. The Biani man. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Yes, sir. Your institution is doing various activities. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. What do you like most? One activity which which you like. Yes, this is good. Uh, I mean, sir, if I look at the programs, sir, some of the programs wherein, you know, uh, they go in for a systematic presentation, sir. Those are the programs that I like best, sir. Informing, documentation, and then, you know, uh, keeping that document, sir. Hello. I'm, I'm giving you another example of one of the institutions I recently visited. Okay, sir. I entered in the institution in my car. Yes, sir. And as I parked my car in the in the parking area. One of the fourth grade employee ran to me, and he has opened okay, the sir. door. He has okay. opened mark my car door, and asked me, "What can I do for you, sir?" So, sir, the the you were you know uh, uh, like uh, impressed by it, the courteousness was, showed by the fourth grade staff. It was a central university man. It was a okay. central university run by government. It is not a private university. If I am visiting to the to Amity, I am putting the name. I might be offered the best snacks available in the city. Because they are sir, having you, they are sir, having you are, Yes, sir, you are talking about the courteousness and, you know, the um, uh, you know, the respect that was shown to you that when is, you entered their is, campus. That is the practice of the institution. I'm telling you the practice of the institution. Since yes. I entered in the university, 
I am a vegetarian. Right? Right. Nobody right. knows my ability and my quality. Who I am, irrespective of it, somebody comes to my car, open the door, help me to to come out, and ask very politely, "What can I do for you?" So okay, so you're talking about the institutional values and the best practices. Yeah. Understood, sir. Got and it, sir. And he, the, the 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 person who has asked me, "What can I do for you?" has guided me to the to the proper waiting area. When I sat on the waiting area, and I wanted to, I informed him that I wanted to meet. This and this person, and the person was waiting for me, but because I had a telephonic conversation, he immediately he confirmed it up, and somebody comes to me saying this, that vice chancellor is in a meeting. He will be free in next ten minutes. So these are the magazines. These are the newspapers. And the, this is the tea and uh, glass of water. Will you like to wait here, or you like to wait in the chamber? I refuse taking tea and coffee and everything because it is a time of COVID. So I need to remove my mask for taking all those things. And they, everybody knows that people will not take, right, ma'am? Right, sir. They have not spent a single nair basa. But being a visitor, I felt very happy. In the contrary, when I visit a Amity Center, Sonali Ma'am is here. That's why I am putting the name. I am offered the best snacks and best welcome drinks and everything was there. They are spending, for example, five hundred rupees on the guest. To make them entertained or pleased, and the central university has not spent a single lakh. So it is not a matter of money; it is a matter of leadership. How the system is generated and how the best practice is going on. You are getting my point, ma'am. Yes, sir. Getting your point, sir. So we cannot say that since I am a government institution, I do not have fund. That's why I am not able to do that. It is, it is, it is not correct. The institution you enter in any institution uh, run by, for example, run by churches. Okay. Invariably, you will find cleanliness there. The most of the buildings of the churches are not plastered; they are painted in the red and other colors, but very neat and clean. Everybody has felt these Felt differences. It. So. What is your institutional value? What is your practices over there? Every institute, every institution are having their own values and certain best practices. As Dr. Sonali was referring, that one of the amity there is a facility for small children. It is not going to cost you anything. Yes, sir, I know, sir. Sir, Playgrounds recently, are there. playgrounds are there, ma'am. Various yes, sir. swings are there where your adult students are taking part. If I am putting two, three for the childrens, it is a one-time investment. Sir, recently, Bukaro Steel City College also received a recognition for a glee, uh, you know, clean and green campus, sir. So, so yes, I mean definitely see, one of our best practices. This is, this is not only that. You see that most of the roads or the or the uh, 
crossing of the roads are being sponsored by various institutions you must have seen yes sir the crossing of roads the 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 flower is maintained by tata steel so even in my institution i can invite some of the known organization of the city to maintain certain things we can do that for example gender equality is there environmental consciousness is there sustainability is there include inclusive growth is there professional ethics are there so various things can be done so these are three key indicators in this package one institutional value on social responsibilities best practices institutional distinguishes devani ma'am yes sir or uh, personally ma'am both of you right yes sir you are having in your department say 50 students right okay sir these 50 students are in the literature and these 50 student with the sonali ma'am are in the bba right ma'am right sir these 50 students with the bani ma'am are not from one locality they are spread in they are coming from either from the city or the nearby areas okay sir right ma'am right sir so if i am inviting one of the organization of your city for example i am inviting uh let it be covid care right the right, local sir. administration health department how to protect yourself from covid care they will gladly come down Yes, and sir. And educate the team, right? Yeah, right, sir. You are inviting people, your banker or me, to have a session on financial literacy. Your associated bank with your institution, the banker will come down and educate fifty students of yours on financial literacy. Or you can call me also; I will come down and educate people. right right sir you are not going to spend a single dime right okay? sir right these 50 students are given a task in this semester to arrange and educate 50 families in their locality in 3 4 months time they can do it yes sir they can and even you can you can create a system that you arrange a meeting even in the uh, google meet connect 50 people in a google meet with an accepted time and frame and attach call the banker of your bank or you can call me also to educate those 50 nearby families of one of the student that yes, too, we can do that that too you are <laughs> not going to spend anything yes sir so 50 multiplied by 50 family 250 family right ma'am right sir 2500 families are being educated on financial literacy and right, if sir. every family is comprising four members so 10000 people become financially literate with the help of people like me or people like your banker you are not spending anything right ma'am right sir so th just think in your college five departments are there so in this year you got an opportunity to educate 50000 people in and around on financial literacy yes sir and these 50000 people 
got this literacy free of cost precisely sir. and these 50000 people will not remember my name they will remember that this college has done this activity so it is free of cost branding of yours and this can be you can utilize it as social responsibility you can utilize it as institutional value or you can utilize it as the best practice yes sir so we have done uh, i mean uh, all these things like you said uh, we have gone to the villages because our students also come from the villages we have educated them on the importance of cleanliness planted trees as well as given them basic training for raki making i mean uh, small uh, you know stuff then uh, you know there was a vet also that we sir i'll tell you one sir you can hear me the vet ma'am why i am interrupting you here yes sir the when the college faculty and the resources are utilized for this social responsiveness yes, it sir. will be limited you do not have money to spend and go and do the plantation and all those things you do not have money no sir we did not we did not spend any money that's what i'm telling you sir like we went to the villagers you know and we uh, educated them on a lot of things i mean so yes i mean your suggestion is also quite welcome and we will uh, you know to keep that in mind when we I'm, next go in for uh, uh, promoting us what i am putting it sir. you create yes, a sir. policy in this criteria that every month one of the directive given by the ugc right there are a number of directive given by ugc for example yes, the financial literacy is one of the directive given by ugc Okay, right sir. the okay, the, the the green right the the water conservation is one of the directive given by ugc right sir the alternative source of energy is also given by ugc so there yes, are sir. a number of things right so for right, example sir. for example alternative source of energy so in in that particular month month of march you are inviting a central government agency or state government agency on the alternative energy source the government agency will come down to your college and educate people and create a pool of it to propagate this information in the nearby areas mm -hmm. the alternative energy people the department normally help and gives subsidies in the alternative source of energy implanted in your house okay so the facility of government is there what you are doing you are channelizing it and passing it with your help of your student to their community understood sir understood so if you are taking ugc directives just in ugc directives that this month this directive is there i will follow this directive and do it up like some of the institutional distinctness how your institution is different Dibani ma'am. Yes, sir. In in your university, there are ten colleges almost alike you. Yes, sir. So Then how does my college, you know, is uh, how does uh, you know my or how is my college different from others? What yes. is the distinctive quality that I have? Yes. The syllabus is same. Faculties are same. Campus is right. same. problems right. are same constraints are same so where is that so i have to do something you know which is where distinctive is, from is other that? colleges where is what is that so this is what like uh, the examples that you have given us sir now i mean just now sir so we have to follow those and keep that in mind sir ma'am i'm giving you a small example right right sir think think engineering and i will ask you the name of the institute in india you will give four five names right ma'am right sir and all the participants here will have the almost same name precisely if i will ask name a engineering college in your state everybody it will have almost similar names right sir if i am asking 
कॉलेज फॉर कॉमर्स कॉलेज फॉर हिंदी कॉलेज फॉर बांग्ला कॉलेज फॉर संस्कृत इन योर सिटी इन योर स्टेट वेदर योर नेम्स आर देयर ओके सर नो इवन दो द बेस्ट फैकल्टीज आर वर्किंग विथ यू बट these faculties are not able to creating a brand that this college is known for this department you are getting my point yes sir getting your point sir so the criteria it is very easy to achieve marks in these criteria only thing is somebody should take care of everything dibyani ma'am yes sir in your institution you yes, know you know very well that it should be clean right sir right? you right, know sir. these are these fourth grade employees responsible for this cleanliness right sir when you enter institution you find somewhere dirty things you ask them to clean it up okay sir you they may or they may not you right, may sir. you may inform them immediately or you think that i should inform but you are not having time to inform so you are not inform if somebody is particularly responsible for these things what could happen because it is it is seen by everybody you entered the the corner is dirty everybody has seen it and problem is the fourth grade employee is not having a cleaning apparatus and all those things he has requested to give and the the college is ready to buy but they have not bought it for last three days if somebody was there file is pending in the principal chamber for the approval since principal has not approved file is still lying in the table that's why it was not done if somebody has reminded the principal imam this is this is things please approve it it could have done three days back only you are getting my point you need yes, somebody sir. responsible for that right sir when somebody is responsible these things can be done very easily is there any question from anyone uh mangal sir are you there mangal sir on jharkhand government yes sir sure. good afternoon afternoon so now over to mangal sir uh thank you professor dr raman ballav uh, and uh, we are nearing towards the last session of our 6 day online workshop on nac assessment and aggregation and that is the valedictory section and also the feedback session uh let me remind you that we had this 6 day online session on nac assessment and aggregation carried engaged uh, every 2 hours from 2 pm to 4 pm and we had a talk on various topics like nac aggregation nac process iaqc nac the assessment process assessment and aggregation of higher education institutions quality indicator framework teaching learning and evaluation research innovations and extension infrastructure and learning resources student support and progression governance leadership and management institutional values and best practices approaches and policies adopted by nac in the development of manual health sciences statistical information assessment outcomes and now would request the participants to give their valuable feedback and uh, i would like you to sh share your name your institution and briefly tell me about the two 
takeaways which you learned from this six day online webinar. Uh, I would like to call uh, Dr. Nilesh, if you can kindly unmute yourself and share your experience about this six day online workshop. Dr. Nilesh. Uh, can I can I connect with Dr. Mitali Palit, uh, ma'am? Uh, Dr. Mitali. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, can I connect with uh, Sunali Kulkarni? Uh, Ma'am, can we have your feedback for this six day online workshop? Sunali Kulkarni, kindly unmute yourself and give your feedback. Uh, can we connect with Dr. S. Sujata? Dr. S. Sujata. Uh, can we have uh, Dr. M. Chinna Devi? Dr. Dr. M. Chinna Devi? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, sir, I am from Mata Gujri College of Nursing, Mata Gujri University, Kishan Ganj, Bihar. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, it is very informative. And uh, I have learned many new things. And uh, uh, Dr. Raman Bhalla sir has given answers to all the questions who ever asked very patiently. And uh, sir explained in detail each and every component and key components, uh, key parameters, everything he has explained well, I have understood, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, can we connect with uh, Dr. Ajay Pratap Singh? Uh, sir, can we have your feedback for the six day workshop? Dr. Ajay Pratap Singh. Please switch on your camera. Please switch on your camera so that we can take. Uh, it is humble request to everybody. Please switch on your camera. Uh, can we talk with Divyani Sinha? Uh, Ma'am, can we have your feedback? Uh, okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Devyani Singh, uh, IQAC coordinator and assistant professor, Department of English from Bokaro Steel City College, Bokaro. Uh, I, uh, I would like to thank Dr. Raman Bhallab uh, for his, you know, informative uh, presentation on, uh, you know, the various parameters required for NAC accreditation. Uh, his presentation was an eye-opener for most of us, I know, for most of the uh, participants uh, present uh, in this uh, workshop. Uh, what I would have liked was to have, you know, um, uh, more discussions on SSR, which we have to, uh, you know, uh, make uh, while going on for uh, subsequent uh, accreditations uh, uh, for the NAC cycle. So thank you so much, uh, sir. And it was an excellent uh, initiative uh, taken by Jharkhand uh, Toolroom 
uh, and I would request, I mean, others also to go in for such, uh, you know, informative sessions wherein we can have a detailed discussion and, uh, you know, get to have some information uh, regarding the various uh, processes that uh, NAC requires the various uh, higher institutions to go in for. You see the information, a lot of information is available on the net, but, uh, you know, there is a lot of confusion how to process it. So what are the various parameters to be followed by the, you know, higher institutions um, is, you know, uh, becomes quite clear when we have uh, sessions of these sort. And I'm very thankful uh, to uh, the Jharkhand, you know, tool room for having this kind of uh, workshop. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, can I connect with Sikha Tiwari? Uh, Dr. Sikha Tiwari, kindly unmute yourself and... I'll give your feedback uh, for the sessions carried. Uh, can I connect with uh, Deep Mala Das? Deep Mala Das. Uh, Ma'am, kindly unmute yourself. Uh, 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 you're not aud audible, ma'am. Hello. Yes, yes. Hello. Can you no. hear me? Uh -huh. Yes, you are now audible. Can yes, you? Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, I would uh, like to uh, thank the Jharkhand government and Raman sir, and he has uh, like uh, explained us very nicely for like uh, for six days. Uh, but it's uh, as I am from a medical field, it's a very new thing uh, for me, and first time I am working in a medical university. Although so, it's uh, like I have to go through again because all the things are very new. Only I could uh, like uh, basic things I could understand. Many things I could not understand uh, properly. So that is fault on my part. I can understand. I have to read. And one thing uh, I would like to thank Sir also because he has uh, taken so much patience to teach us. And uh, one thing I would like to add: if uh, like six days Sir is uh, taking the pain to teach us. But if uh, we could uh, get uh, exposure to two, three faculty members, then it would be more interesting because uh, we are getting exposure to only one faculty member for six days. That is my feeling because we uh, then we would have been exposed to more faculty members. Right, man. Uh, uh, now can I connect with... Uh... Mercy Abraham, uh, if you can kindly unmute yourself and give your feedback. Mercy Abraham. Uh, can I connect with Nag Bhushan Rao? Nag Bhushan Rao. Kindly unmute and uh, give your feedback. Yes, sir. Uh, am I audible, sir? A little louder, sir. Hello. Yes, yes. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the government and Ramal uh, Mullah, sir. Undoubtedly, it is very informative session, sir. Uh, from this session, actually, we came to know that what is the next, what are different criteria, and what to do, how to do. I think you are muted. Okay. Uh, am I audible now? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, I would request you to uh, request you, ma'am, Pallavai, uh, to give your feedback for today's program. Me, sir? Yes, sir. 
yes ma'am yeah 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 i am uh, pavai sir okay so uh, myself uh, dr pavai i am working for uh, rmk engineering college uh, chennai tamil nadu sir uh, actually we are uh, nat accredited with a plus uh, grade but uh, i am not involved in that uh, in detail but i am the member of uh, the iqac just i wanted to uh, learn more about this and it was very much uh, informative i could understand uh, almost all the criteria and uh, more than the criteria sir has given uh, uh, various examples and uh, how best we can uh, do so what the evaluator will be expecting in that angle uh, he was giving so uh, that was uh, very much uh, useful sir so how they will be expecting the institution to work what they will expect in that angle he was explaining that was very much uh, useful for us uh, thankful uh, to the organizers and also dr raman bandar thank you so much thank you ma'am for your thank you. Thank you. Uh, for your encouragement Uh, now can i connect with uh, dr prithvi raj chakrabarti dr prithvi raj yes sir am i audible sir yes you are audible uh, thank you sir uh, thank you for this uh, opportunity to uh, go for this session for 6 days uh, myself uh, dr prithvi raj uh, chakrabarti working as a professor in mata gurji college of pharmacy kishanganj uh, under mata gurji university and in this six days uh, we have gone through a very in detail discussion about that. and thank you sir raman sir he has given he has not turned uh, not given any uh, loopholes of detailing every points in individual criteria and i am uh, uh, in this in college we will be going for next so this uh, information what uh, sir has given to us it will be very helpful for implementing and uh, we hope that uh, we will go for more and more uh, discussion with raman sir if he permits me then uh, if uh, when, whenever it is required i will be disturbing him with some emails asking some questions if i get a chance and thank you jharkhand government tool room for organizing such a nice uh, session for 6 days thank you so much sir thank you dr prithviraj uh, now i would like to uh, connect with dr b j ganesh uh, kindly unmute yourself uh, sir am i audible <coughs> yes sir you are audible uh, thank you sir uh, giving me the opportunity to be a part of this uh, wonderful workshop really it is a wonderful thing for me because uh, uh, basically i'm from the education background i are affiliated to teacher education university so already uh, we got a b grade in the nac assessment uh, but <clears throat> in this workshop i learned so many things uh, regarding uh, the planning of uh, iqac and how the faculties can take responsibility to put up their work for uh, the whole iqc and the quality development so in that uh, way the raman sir has given a wonderful uh, ideas and uh, he has given a uh, nice key points regarding uh, how we have to get more marks uh, in the nac process so in that way i am really impressed of uh, raman sir's lecture and apart from that uh, i am very thankful to the jharkhand government to toll room for providing me the great opportunity to attend this workshop and really uh, apart from uh, the discussion apart from the uh, process of uh, this workshop uh, lots of uh, queries uh, i have to uh, note it down for our future references because uh, uh, even the engineering college or even the medical college uh, faculties they are asking uh, different varieties of uh, queries regarding uh, every criteria so i already working on that so it will be give a more clarity with the help of uh, raman sir sir so really this workshop is a wonderful workshop for us and i think for all of us thank you sir uh, providing me the opportunity to give a, a feedback about this workshop thank you for once again sir uh, thank you dr bj ganesh thank you sir uh, your useful suggestions will always uh, we like to incorporate in our future programs uh, now i would like to call upon uh, principal jharkhand government tool room Sri Mahesh Kumar Gupta to give a 
vote of thanks to all the participants of this six day online workshop sir uh, thank you mr mangal toku our training head and very good afternoon to all uh, it's my great privilege pleasure and honor to convey vote of thanks on behalf of jharkhand government to lumrachi first of all i would like to express my heartfelt thanks to all the esteemed participants who has not only attended this program regularly but also were fully involved in it i am sure that this will not only help you and your institution uh, but the difference will be clearly visible after attending this program Uh, you are valuable as uh, just i was going through your feedback also your valuable feedback will not only boost our morale but also will help us to make our future training programs more useful and relevant for you and your uh, organization institutions i would like to invite uh, all of you to visit jharkhand government to lumrachi which is in tati silvai whenever you feel free and or whenever you are in rachi please do visit we will be happy to welcome you at our institution our uh, training head mr mangal top has already presented uh, ppt regarding our regarding our institution and facilities uh, in brief if i would like to add that uh, we are you can say we are having various activities various offline training program also online training programs also various customized training programs for the universities institutions various organization corporate houses like uh, total quality management 5s tpm tqm six sigma seven qc tools and almost more than 50 type of such programs we are conducting regularly during uh, this uh, pandemic also various conduct we have conducted various online programs please, please feel free to contact us for any further training requirement uh, i would like to express my special thanks to our chief mentor and faculty of this program professor dr raman ballav sir for making this program successful and organizing in such a way our training head mr mangal toppo sanjay ji all our team member there is a team effort behind conducting this program also so who worked hard to make this successful our next nac program will be commenced from 28th march 2 pm to 4 pm once again timing will be the same 28th march and you are most welcome uh, your other faculty members to join this program and uh, i will not take much time and uh, with this uh, i will hand over the this virtual platform to mr mangal topo mr mangal topo over to thank you please thank you sir uh, i would request uh, roshan uh, to please uh, share few certificates on screen yes sir uh, these are the certificates which uh, all the participants will be receiving uh, through their emails the emails which they had registered congratulations to dr ajay pratap singh dr b j ganesh Dr M S S R Srinivas Dr P Suresh Prabhu Dr Poonam Nigam Sahai Madhu Priya Parvinder Hanspal, Shikha Tiwari, Ashish 
थोंगम भारत भारती वकादा नगाभूषणा राव As I said before, the certificates uh, will be provided to you through your emails, which were registered by you. And coming to the end of the six-day online workshop or NAP. Uh, Mangal sir, Mangal sir. Yes, sir. I would sir. like to inform all the participants. I would like to inform all the participants that the YouTube link of the video will be available within a week, and the certificate will be sent to their email IDs within a week. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjeev ji. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. and i would take this opportunity again to thank uh, the chief mentor professor dr raman ballav ji uh, for taking all the sessions of this workshop uh, mr mahesh kumar gupta ji principal jharkhand government tool room sanjay prasad ji working behind the scenes for making coordinating all the work uh, the people behind making the certificates and of course the participants of this 6 uh, day online webinar we thank you for for sharing your valuable time and involving yourself in such fruitful discussions uh, we hope you are well and we meet again for such similar online workshops again in near future thank you all goodbye thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you Thank you, sir, for your wonderful work. Thank you, sir. 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 बैठना पड़ेगा आप होगा स्वाभाविक अच्छी होगी जिला उसके लिए चालीस हजार रुपया
ये वो ये जो है ना एग्जीक्यूटिव कमेटी वाला ये ये बैठक है विधायक जी के चीफ पदस्थम होगा सागर शंकर वाले नाम से अभी ब्लॉक में लाइब्रेरी यहाँ गई सुन रहे हैं एग्जीक्यूटिव कमेटी वाला बैठक बैठक का प्रोसेडिंग है इसमें अकाउंट भी खोलने वाला से प्रस्ताव और छः मार्च के लिए प्रस्ताव अपनी बैठक का हो गया लीगल बैठक वाला आपको इसमें करना होगा ठीक है यही बगल बगल आई जी का ही अधिकतम देते हैं आई लेट्स है अब वो होगा तो होगा शायद उसे सेना करा लेंगे